Well, we'll find out. Okay, yeah. excellent. Yes, right. Here's Michael. Michael Broadcorp, welcome. Thanks for the opportunity to be on. Hey, absolutely. Now, now you're starting out this uh, this uh, timing of the of this uh, uh, campaign to uh, talk about uh, the performance of Secretary of State uh, Mark Ritchie during this uh, recount uh, at a curious time with the Secretary of State's being in town. It, it, was that by chance, or is that the, just the way it started? No, I mean, look, this Secretary of State Ritchie uh, was participating in this in this conference of national Secretary of States. We certainly want to remind it. We certainly wanted to remind participants of this conference about what we view his role is during this re- this recount, the mistakes that he made, and he should not be any type of or any kind of uh, issue expert uh, on matters dealing with recounts. What did he do inappropriate? Well, the biggest issue that we have, and one of the issues that, that Republicans constantly cried foul over, was the, was the inconsistent standards that were applied to, to rejected absentee ballots. Uh, it is a statement of fact that an absentee ballot that was cast, in, particularly in Carver County, or in, or in a Republican-leading area, was treated different than a ballot, in, let's say, that was, that was filed in Hennepin County. And a recount process fundamentally is to recount ballots cast on Election Day. There is a process in law that allows for challenge ballots or those ballots that people believe that should have been counted, during, during, that should have been counted on Election Day mm-hmm. that were not. Those should be handled in the contest phase. What, what Secretary of State Ritchie did... By, by changing his position and flip-flopping on the inclusion of, of absentee ballots, is he, in essence, allowed and led the charge for new ballots, those ballots not cast on Election Day, to be counted in the recount phase? And fundamentally, that's a flawed process. That was led by Ritchie, introduced by Ritchie. And the statutory responsibility for administering a recount lies with Secretary of State Ritchie. And the Republican Party is going to play a very aggressive role in reminding Minnesotans as to the leadership failures that he had during his recount process. Can I, can I ask, why did this resonate with one of the Supreme Court justices? Well, because uh, I can't speak to that. I, I'm not a lawyer. I can't speak to that. But it, the, the, in, in the canvassing process, yes. uh, as, was, as was discussed yesterday, and, in, and in, the, in the recount process, I think the justices continually looked at Secretary of State Ritchie to be the issue expert on this. And as the kind of principal administrator of the recount process, uh, he was the de facto head of the process. And the leadership responsibility lied with him. And this is where uh, he should have been consistent. He should have not changed his position. Because you've got to remember, he was originally against the inclusion of so-called rejected absentee ballots. Mm-hmm. And that's where this kind of fifth pile was created. It was only after a friendly a county attorney uh, that has been supportive of Richie in the past uh, provided a, an advisory opinion and, and kind of created this kind of process of the fifth pile led to this confusing standard that, 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 that led to hundreds, if not thousands, of ballots not to be counted in this race and led to the confusing standard by which absentee ballots in one part of the state were treated different than absentee ballots in another part of the state. Didn't, Senator, process. didn't Senator Coleman get the opportunity to raise this issue? Yes, and I want to be clear with, about something, is that it's not as if this, this recount process didn't show that there were flaws and mistakes that were sure. made. The point, though, is, is that did the, 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 the justices say, did the justices say that this was, was systematic? Was it, was, it, was it done purposely? No. I would argue that still doesn't, that still doesn't um, discard the mistakes that were made. I, I'm, not an, I'm not an attorney, uh, uh-huh. and I can't speak to... Uh, all the, the legal decisions that went, went into this. But I will say to you, fundamentally, and it, and it is clear in statute, that the recount administration is handled by this Secretary of State. And for, for a Secretary of State in Minnesota to oversee and administer a process mm-hmm. by which legally cast ballots in one part of the state are treated differently than ballots cast in another, and those ballots are treated differently and votes are literally counted, it, 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 it is against every election tradition that the state has ever had, and the Republican Party and activists across the state are going to consistently remind Minnesota voters about Richie's role in that process. Do you feel that Secretary of State should be a nonpartisan role, or do you think that this, this oversight should be taken out of that office? I think, I think that the example of how Richie has conducted himself in, in office clearly leads to a lot of Minnesotans coming to that conclusion. Uh, as a party officer... Uh, we're going to certainly continue to engage in, in a process by which there should be partisan designation. But I think a lot of Minnesotans, after seeing how Richie has conducted himself in this recount process, believe 
that have, that have led them to the kind of the same question that you're answering here today. You ask, that you asked of me here today. Don't you feel as though had there at least been just one Supreme Court justice that sided with or at least brought up some of these issues that there might be more bearing? I, I think as we're talking about the voters of Minnesota and the people of Minnesota. I sometimes think that that it's almost it's almost like rubbing salt in a wound. I think a lot of us on the national stage felt as though the state was kind of embarrassed by this, and then to take the take the opportunity with a, with an ad campaign to kind of further rub that in. Don't you feel as though that might be kind of backhanded? Look, uh, if Secretary of State Ritchie and others that that run for these partisan positions don't want to be held accountable for their action, then they should step aside or not run for the position. Yeah, I don't know, though, about it, but, but what about, I, I understand what the Secretary of State did. Obviously, he's with the DFL, so he's going to do his role, and I understand you guys have a role as well. But to, but to kind of reopen this wound at a, at a point where we've got, we've got the Secretary of State uh, from around the country in town right now to be re-airing that, don't you think that, again, a little, it, it's your behavior, not so much, I understand Secretary of State's behavior, but your behavior, do you really think that's beneficial to, to the, the voters of Minnesota? Oh, I, oh, absolutely. I think these issues need to be assessed. Look, and, and to, speak, to speak very personally for a couple minutes, I, you know, I campaigned across the state for the position that I have now as deputy chair, and, and I heard from activists all across this state about literally, and it's been described as this raw rage that they have and this raw kind of anger and emotion they have about situations where their ballots literally were not cast. And, and I think I think the Secretary of State and Mark Ritchie and, and the DFL party and other activists uh, on, that, that are supporting him mm-hmm. need to recognize that there is a growing caucus, uh, there's a growing chorus of concern as to how he conducted himself. And, and I think uh, Chairman Sutton and my, and, and, and my role yesterday were speaking for those, speaking for those activists that, that have communicated to us their frustration, mm-hmm. but also reminding um, Minnesotans, uh, and in particular, Secretary of State Ritchie, that we're going to be very aggressive in reminding them about his conduct, his actions, and his decisions that led to, as you've described, as Minnesota's in some regard being a little bit of a national embarrassment. Mm-hmm.